NFL. Thankfully, Pete Prisco's got his top 100 free agents for them to use as cheat sheets. This is his top 10. The top five goes Carlton Davis, Chandler Jones, J.C. Jackson, Von Miller, and Teron Armstead, who comes in number one. Other guys who probably could have been high on Pete's list, Chris Godwin, Mike Williams, Jesse Bates, but they are also off the board. All right, time to bring in Pete Prisco and Jason Lock and Four. Guys, it's like we never left the combine. Pete, I'll start with you. Give me a sense specifically of the top 10. How difficult was it for you to put that together? It was picked apart. I mean, it's like a, a carcass on the side of the ro road, and the vultures already took the good stuff and left, you know, what was uh, still sitting there, and it wasn't very good. Uh, I just think when you look at this free agency class, uh, there's some diamonds in it, but I, I think that the top of the class is very limited. We saw guys get tagged. We saw guys get signed. Uh, and a lot of those guys would have been at the top of this list. So it was tough to put the top 10 together. And particularly for a guy like me, I don't necessarily like guys with age. And, and I think that's part of the problem with this list. If you look at the top of the list, Armstead is up in the years. Von Miller is getting up in the years. Chandler Jones is up in the years. I don't necessarily like to put those guys in the top 10 because I skew younger. Uh, but I think in this list, you had to put them where they were because this, this class is really picked apart. I agree with comparing any of Pete's work to a carcass. I think that is generally a good starting point. <laughs> um, I kid, I kid. No, it's a tough exercise. There's not, Pete's right. This isn't the most robust free agent class in the world. Um, a lot of the guys, even who are going to get paid, are a little more on the wrong side of 30 than you'd, you'd like or have missed too much time recently or have an injury history. But those are generally the guys who, who do get there, right? The best young players in their prime, teams are putting franchise tags on, teams are getting extended. I'm fascinated, though, about the array of edge players available in this free agent class. And I didn't do a top 50 or top 100 of my own. If I did a top 50, though, I, I think about 25% of it would be guys who at least have the ability to get to the quarterback. Some of the ones on that list, and then an Akeem Hicks, uh, um, you know, uh, Ogan Joby and Ogba, um, and a lot of those guys are on Pete's top 100, just not in the top 10. Randy Gregory is ascending to me. So th there, there is an interesting mix of those guys, Melvin Ingram. But overall, not a great class. All right, so let's cherry pick a few. Pete, Teron Armstead at number one. Why him? Well, I think when he's on the field, he's healthy. He's, a, he's one of the better left tackles in the league. And that's been the problem is he hasn't been healthy. I mean, he only played nine games last year. And, and, and over the course of his career, he's missed a lot of time. But he's a, when he's on the field, he's one of the best uh, pass protectors in the league. And everybody, particularly in an era where the pass protection isn't very good, we've seen that the past two Super Bowls with the Super Bowl losers. If you can find a good left tackle in free agency, why not go out and roll the dice? Again, the injury history is a concern. But when he's on the field, he's a heck of a player. Well, Pete, I'm old enough to remember Trent Williams having not played much football over a three-year period of time, right? Neck issues and serious stuff, his, his, his head and, you know, stuff involving, um, you know, is he going to be able to put his helmet on and all that? And San Francisco made him the highest paid left tackle in the history of the game, right? That's what free agency does. And, and Armstead, maybe not at his peak quite what, what Trent Williams can be, but, but close enough. And when you see a guy like Cam Robinson get franchise tagged the second time, it tells you how desperate people are for tackles. I think you're right. I think Armstead has a chance to make as much money as anybody in this class. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.